Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and dang, you look especially cute today. You always look cute, but something special about today, or you're just special to me. You are. You are special to me. And what's special to me today is this Catalyst Amp, Catalyst 100 specifically, sent to me by Line 6 for a demo and review. So I'm just going to run through a few sounds. It's not going to be the most comprehensive video. There's too much in this uh, majestic beast to cover in one day um, or one demo even. You don't want that. I'm just going to show you what I especially like. I am going to run you through a, a couple of different things. There is an app that you plug in to the back of um, the, the amp. You can connect it to the computer so you can build your presets there. You'll have them ready for the gig. You can uh, access them via buttons on the amp. You can also access most of that stuff via the, the panel. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, my favorite setting is uh, the boutique amp. There are one, two, three, four, five, six amplifiers on this that are unique to the Catalyst series. You're not going to find them on other things. So go to the top of the amp. So you'll see the amp selector. We have the boost, uh, the button to turn the boost on. We have gain. We have the bass mid and treble, uh, pretty common things. We also have presence, which I love. I love presence knobs. As those, that's the upper mids. It'll really help you cut through a mix. Uh, really key when you're soloing. Uh, pretty famously, the uh, hot cake is my favorite guitar pedal that has presence. I believe. I believe Marshalls have them too. Um, and then we have a channel volume. Uh, and then we have the mix for the effect type. Um, and let's go back now to, and then after the effect type, um, the reverb and then the master volume. So going back uh, to the app. In addition to what you can control on the top of the amp, you have a, controls for sag. You can turn hum on or off. Hum, contr hum control, I assume. And then we have what I'm really digging is the ability to control bias. I think that's super neat. You can also can control the what is uh, direct out phones, USB, the cabinet, and the microphone. There are also a lot of these are grayed out. You can't adjust them. And that's because I'm recording in manual and not channel A or B preset. Otherwise, those would be available. Uh, so looking at these advanced controls for the parameters, uh, on top of the amp, you can control the tap, so the speed of things like delay, so, and the mix. Um, on the app, you can put it before or after the amp, which is really cool. So I'm obviously starting from the opposite side. Um, you can control the level, uh, feedback, so repeats, and um, you can change how the tap interacts with like, is it dotted ace, blah, 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 I just keep it quarter notes. Uh, reverb, this is going to, and obviously these are all gonna change depending on the effect you have. Uh, so I'm using spring, you can even control on the spring um, the amount of drip. It's just so, there's just so much stuff you can do. So I'm just. Obviously, if you move the, like, if you want to do a longer delay, which I actually kind of do enjoy doing, like get a transistor delay going, maybe up the feedback, decrease the headroom, get a little bit more flutter and wow, change the tap, tap it down. You can hear that really slow. I'm going to turn up the mix. I have to go over to the amp to do that. You can hear you can hear the drip. Uh, I'm gonna change the reverb. So there's a bit of a 
Um, this one's kind of um, shimmery. Turn the delay back on and put it before. Because the, right, right then the uh, reverb is was also in the pre, it would have been before the delay. And it has trails. Uh, so there are a lot of other kinds of modulations. We have chorus. Turn down the, there. Oh, darn it. Uh, turn down that. Tremolo, a phaser, huh. tap faster, a flanger, I'm just kidding. Rotary, some synth stuff, including this one's fun. You want that before. And some octave stuff that comes um, in in B a little bit, uh, the pitch stuff. So that's the pitch shift. I'm not a big pitch harmony person, so I'm just not going to do that one. Um, but I think this sounds better with the high gain amp. <laughs> Yeah, listen, I don't play that a lot, so be nice. Um, but let's go back to that kind of simple delay with some gain and with the delay in post. And let's just kind of play through the amp sounds really quickly.
And with the boost engaged, because the boost is unique to each circuit. Chime. The volumes are already more consistent with gain and boost. Um, that was crunch. All right, that was dynamic. High gain. Alright, that was a high gain and now we're going to clean. Nice. So, there we go. Alright. But how they sound with outside pedals. I'm back at Boutique and I have my same uh, app and I have a couple of pedals plugged in um, the Blessed Mother uh, I'm sorry uh, well the Heather Brown Electronicals Fuzz Assumption and I have um, I'm gonna be playing that through the boutique I have the boost off actually let me just play this hat my clean tone and now I have the Fuzz Assumption and Gate Start blending in some fuzz. hear it with a, a phaser. Turn on the, oh no, I want to turn on the depth on that. Wrong. A little bit of gain going. Hmm. We're getting the gain from the amp. enough with others yeah all right well that's my uh quick enough look at the catalyst 100 i hope that this was helpful i know i stayed on the boutique amp a lot but uh that was just my favorite i think it sounds so good um i actually have a gig coming up pretty soon i do plan on using this um along with those uh, that spring reverb and that simple delay and probably just like a couple other super simple pedals um yeah and i'm just gonna gig with that uh pretty soon coming up because 
I don't want to take a lot of stuff <laughs> to, that, to that show. And I think this sounds really nice. I think the sound guy is going to appreciate having uh, the ability to go DI for his monitoring instead of micing it up and uh, or as an alternative to micing it up. Um, and I'm going to appreciate having that simplicity in the monitors. And... I like I like having like it has an attenuator so I can practice at home quietly. It has headphones so I can practice even more quietly if I need to. So it makes it a really even at a hundred watts, hundred digital watts, it is like a, a really good like solution for bedroom and it gets really really loud too. So I'm pretty confident I can take this to a show and not have to worry about, am I going to be loud enough? I am going to be loud enough. And uh, nobody's gonna say anything bad about my tone because I think it's, I think the boutique sound sounds really good to my ears, especially for this like country stuff that I've been playing and practicing for this upcoming gig. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got to say about it. And if you're interested in trying one out for yourself, uh, we have affiliate links with Sweetwater, Reverb, and others in the video description. Um, please consider using those when you're making your purchases. It helps us out immensely and costs you zero extra dollars. It just helps us. You can help us by doing the things you're already, you're already doing. And we appreciate it when you do that. So um, we also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash get offset. Um, you know, social stuff, TikTok, all that kind of thing. You know, just thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Um, your support means a lot to us. Um, thanks for line six. Your support leans, means a lot to us. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.